Alrighty, welcome back to Ben Buckler Board. So we have the one wheels here today to show you. And we have the one wheel XR and the one wheel pint. So a couple of things to know before buying them in Australia. And that is that uh, they come with a one year warranty in Australia. We provide the Australian plugs for you. And we've done all that import hassle. We've got them all in here, ready in stock to send to you. We send them with free freight. Uh, so it's dead easy to get them. Typically it's overnight to Melbourne and Brisbane and uh, a couple of days to South Australia and sometimes like a, a week to Perth. And we know you can't test ride at the moment, so we're going to get Stella, who hasn't been on one before, to test ride it for you. Uh, so you can live vicariously through her. Uh, and now with the one wheels, um, these things are built like a tank. They are so robust. It's probably the most reliable uh, urban commuter, the most reliable personal electric transport vehicle we've seen. Uh, they hand make them in, in America and uh, very, very good build quality there. Now, the, with um, the warranty, if there's anything um, that you're not sure about or if anything is not working, you can send them back to us. Um, but however, you also have access to the One Wheel support. That's available by support at onewheel.com. So you've got two channels of support there. Um, if you uh, wanted to send it back to one wheel directly, of course you can do that, and that is actually faster. Uh, one wheel will arrange to pick up the board from your house uh, under warranty and get it to uh, Santa Cruz in California uh, very quickly. And sometimes even it can get from um, Sydney to, to uh, California faster than Sydney to Perth. So just bear that in mind uh, that that can be a faster alternative for you for support uh, if you have any issues with your one wheel. But of course, again, we're here to help. All right. Uh, now, they, I might just go through a couple of the questions that people ask, like, um, should uh, I put a fender on it? Yeah, I mean, it depends how much you like your pants, but fenders are good, they're worth the money, because uh, sometimes, you know, rocks and water can come up from between the gap of the wheel and the board. And should I get rail guards? I mean, yeah. Uh, there you can see some rail guards here. These are the clear ones, they're a bit scuffed up, and that's actually saved the metal rail here. You can see on the pint, We've scratched up the rail pretty good there by not putting rail guards on. Uh, so check out our board customizer on our website. You can pick the colours and pick um, of the fender, pick the colours of the rail guard, pick the colour of the bumpers. Oh, that's a good tip. Now, board bumpers. You can pick your own coloured uh, bumper, which is this plastic bit here on the front and the back. And um, that can customise your board and make it look pretty sweet. Uh, but it's worth noting that the board actually does already come with the black uh, bumpers on there. Yeah, good question. What's the difference between the Pint and the XR, Stella asked? Well, the XR is the big, big bad boy. Uh, they've had it around for many, many years. Um, this is the latest iteration of it. Plus XR stands for plus extra range. It will do a range of 30 kilometres per hour. Oh, sorry. It'll do a range of 30 kilometres in distance. Uh, the Pint was made for smaller budgets and, and smaller distances. It's got a range of about 12 k's. It's got a smaller rounded tyre, so you can see it's a little bit more squirrely compared to the flat tyre of the XR, which is a bit more stable. So that's actually quite good to learn on. If you're coming here for a demo ride um, outside of lockdown, uh, we would start you on the XR to, to learn. Of course, um, if you're going straight for the pint, uh, with that smaller budget, then that's absolutely cool. You can start on the grass maybe, um, and or maybe just lean on someone's shoulder. Currently riding these are not, is not legal in New South Wales, uh, but it is in Queensland and the ACT, which is kind of strange. Um, but there are um, there is movement afoot. Um, the Australian road rules have been changed, I believe, to allow personal electric vehicles, but New South Wales needs to adopt that into its road rules. Uh, because we're still operating by the 1988 road rules here in New South Wales, um, reach out to Andrew Constance, uh, say hi to him, uh, let him know how you feel. Um, by the way, Andrew, you're very welcome to come here for a test ride as well, um, and we can show you everything we've got here that help people get moving. Uh, so we sell these to you on the basis that you're going to use it on pro property, and that may be on your farm or in your house, um, or you may like going on holidays to Canberra outside of lockdown to, to use them with freedom. All right, the fun stuff I forgot to say is these can be dangerous, so that's why it's important to read the manual. In the manual, it'll say, don't ride well under the influence of alcohol. In other words, don't drink and ride. Uh, some people do that and they really hurt themselves. Like, <laughs> guys have come in with like broken collarbones and broken arms and they admitted, yep, I was drinking showing off in front of my mates. So don't do that. Um, the other thing is that 
these boards have what's called kickback. So if you are pushing the board and going fast that way, the board might get to a point where it gets a bit nervous and says, look, you're coming a bit too close to the ground. I want you to stop. And it'll do that by kicking back. In other words, giving you a nudge to say, hey, come on, come on slow up a bit. And at that point, slow up a bit. Some people say, ignore that, and say, no, I love going fast, and they push you the kickback, and then, bang, the board hits the ground, and you get ejected out really fast. So that's in the manual as well. Um, let us know if you've got any questions about that. Uh, otherwise, if you're riding it safely and just um, cruising and having fun, it's a, quite a safe vehicle. So enjoy. See you around. All right. So I've brought Stella to some abandoned netball courts to practice, or oh, to show her how to ride a one wheel. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> All right. So. Hello, this is Stella. Hello, how's it going? Stella is our content creator, and I have convinced Stella to come and test ride a one wheel for the first time, so you get to see what happens when you get your one wheel. All right, so what have we done? We've put Stella in a helmet. Yeah, I'm kitted up. I've got the wrist knee guard. pads. Yeah, knee pads, wrist guards. What are the brands here? We've got ProTech. Which one's this? Uh, ProTech as well. ProTech as well? Yep. Yep. Wrist guards and a thousand helmet. Yep. And my mask. Um, yep. So we'll give it a go. All right. So the board does have to be on the ground before you turn it on, on a flat surface. So one press to go on. And you'll see some lights lighting up around that, that switch. Okay. Um, so standing on the board, back foot on first, front foot on across both pads. And then you want to put your weight over the middle of the, the wheel. So you can just do like that. Oh, and I heard it click on. And now that it's on, it's counterbalancing me. So if you just relax, you can actually stay nice and still. And then uh, if you want to go somewhere, look to where you want to go. And you'll naturally just lean that way. And to stop, just lean back the opposite direction. If you want to go that way, look this way. It's important to keep your eyes up, to focus on the horizon to help you keep your balance. And notice I, I don't really have my legs too bent. If, you, if you're bending your knees, it can get quite uh, unstable. So just try to stand up straight, be relaxed, breathe, look at the horizon. You don't have to do too much. That's it. And then um, when you're happy going forwards and backwards, you can try turning a bit with your heels and your toes by leaning a bit. All right, so I'm gonna turn around. Okay, now we get to the fun bit where it comes to getting off. Um, you can jump off in an emergency, or as I said, I like to bring my heel up. So I'm gonna do that by bringing this knee forward, heard it click off, and then you wait for it to drop down, and then you step off. Um, so emergency jump off with both feet at the same time, you can do that. Um, if you were to be on it, if you were to be on the board and you took the back foot off, this would go down and the board thinks you want to go that way really fast. So don't do that. If you're not sure which is your dominant foot, in other words, if you're not sure if you're goofy or natural footed, just um, stand still and get someone to push you in the back. And when you go forwards, you'll typically reach out with your dominant foot first. Oh. My dominant foot is my right, so I'm goofy. So I go like this. Cool. Mm. Okay, so centre. Yep. And when you got on, you just want to make sure, just want to stand in one spot. Okay. Ooh. All right, oh my God. that's it, just relax. That's on now. So what you want to try to do down is try to um, disengage it. Keep holding onto my shoulder. And oh, no, she's going to go for it. Oh, okay. Was that <laughs> I was going to say, try to turn it, try to turn it off now by turn lifting, off? bringing that knee forward. Oh yeah, yeah I heard it. Oh great, that, you did really well then. Okay, so you you did you did bring your knee forward, and your heel did come off the sensor, and yeah. you heard it click off. Yeah. And that's when you just wait for the board to drop at that you point. You can kind of feel it click off as yeah. well. Yeah. But just when you're doing that, just make sure you do get your foot your heel all the way off that pad yeah. 
because um, it could re-engage. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, you can just relax at this point. Okay. Just breathe and just try to look up at the horizon. Look at where you want to go, maybe. Okay. Well, it's nice and slow. That's good. Yeah, it's slow. <laughs> <laughs> it's slow, so it's not going to rush off and do anything too crazy. So, should I go the other way? Yeah, oh. if you want to look to go the, if the other way, yep. All right. Yeah. Oh, you can kind of lean. Okay. Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> and at some point, when you let me know, I can get out of your way. So. All right, should I give it a go? All right, hold on. Um, try to try to get off it now. Ah, oh, you oh. got off it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, you can off, you can have it you can have a you can have a breather now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How, what are your thoughts? How does it feel? Yeah, I feel <laughs> I think it would take a minute to find my balance on it. Okay. To feel comfortable. Cool. Going and then stopping. Yeah. You know. I mean, you could also practice on grass as well. Yeah. It's not it's like it doesn't go fast enough that I feel terrified of the ground. Okay. Okay. Ooh, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, I practice stopping. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's easier to use your heel or toe to stop it? I think it's easier to use my... to lift my heel up. Yeah. Because um, if you would stay on the ground, just Focus on bringing your knee forward. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. If you focus on bringing your knee forward, your heel will naturally come up. Is everyone this awkward on the first time? Oh, that's a good question. So, typically the one wheels have a very, very steep learning curve of all the products we sell. Uh, but it's a short and steep learning curve. So it is hard, but if you practice within about three hours, you'll be doing really well. Glad I wore these shoes today. Oh, oh my god. Okay. All right. Oh, I stopped it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> ah, so that's interesting. What happened there was. Was it um, too low? No, um, momentarily. Um, Stella's foot came off one of the two sensors. Um, and another interesting point, she's in running shoes, so they, they don't have as flat a sole as other shoes. Oh. So um, that's just something to be mindful of. And also, um, it's only going to stop like that if you don't have enough pressure on both sensors when you're uh, travelling at a low speed. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Need to remember to look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look where you're going, that's it. Doing really well. <laughs> okay. Nearly. That was good. That was yeah. good. I mean you can see already like Stella's improving very quickly already. Should I give it another go? You can have a have a <laughs> breath. Have a breath. You don't have to rush this. <laughs> It's a new relationship with the with the one wheel, right? You don't have to rush things. Just <laughs> yeah. So we can probably look at the comparison of the two um, tires here to explain it. Um, so hopefully you can see here that the XR has a much wider, flatter tire, yeah. and um, the Pint has a rounder tire. So it is more squirrely. Yep. So you can tell the pint is on because this, the pint actually has an extra little LED here and it's showing um, it's showing full charge at the moment or near enough, 80-90% and the light will also uh, tell you which um, sensor you're on. So if I press this, blue to the left there uh, or press the right one, the blue is on the right there. 
that's a good little indicator. And also when you have simple stop, that means simple stop is going backwards, uh, it'll turn red. I can give you a quick demonstration of that. Yep. Okay, so, oh, by the way, the three little dots here just show that line there between the two um, sensors. So here we go, up on this, and simple stop on the pint is where if you're slow and you roll back slowly, um, the board will come to a stop. That little LED just turned pink there to say it was going to simple stop. Um, but with the pint you can also um, bring your, take your foot off one of the two sensors and that will stop it as well. And you can take simple stop function off in the app as well. All right, let's uh, give Stella a go and see what happens. So it's the same stop to stop? Uh, yep, same to stop, or you can go back slowly and it will, and it will drop. Oh, is that where it went pink? Yeah, pink was simple stop. Yeah, yep. okay. Yep. Hair's in the way. Right. Can you see how the... It's got more movement, you can turn sharper corners on that. Yeah. Does that feel better or harder yeah, for you? It also feels quicker. Is feels it quicker? Uh, faster? Yeah. Mm, no. I don't think so. No, maybe else is because I was moving with you. Um, it's the same motor that's in the Pint and the XR. Should I try yeah. by myself? Sure. That's it, just relax. It's easier to turn. Yeah. I think. Yep. Oh, so close. <laughs> That was really good. That was I was quietly like super stoked with that. I didn't want to yell out and go Ray because I didn't want to, to Sorry, fall my off. off. <laughs> um, that that is a massive improvement, like in a very short time. And and look, that's equivalent to what you're going to go through too when you when you get your one wheel pint or your XR. So yeah, well yeah. done. Yeah, that felt yeah, but improvement. Oh yeah. <laughs> to my first one. All oh, right, with, yeah. because of the curved tire, you think it's easier to turn? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Terrific. Cool. Uh, and do you think uh, one would be for you? Yeah, look, I'd give it uh, probably a couple more hours of practice before I go anywhere with it. But yeah, I could <laughs> definitely see myself enjoying it for sure. Nice. Yeah. No, good stuff. Awesome. All right. Well, any more questions, hit us up in the comments. And uh, hopefully that helps you see what it's like to learn to ride a one wheel. All right, till next time. Oh, and next time maybe you'll see Stella zooming past on a one wheel. <laughs> <laughs>